Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, this femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So we're not going to be here super long. I just wanted to sort of piggyback on what I've been talking about, about me and avoiding marriage for this reason. And I'm going to share this video. I'm not going to share the sound just because it's playing um, Kanye's uh, song, and I know they're going to get me if they if they hear it. So I'm just going to play this without sound and we're going to continue to talk. Now, what this video is really trying to do, I think, is is advertise whatever this drink is. And so the caption for this is woman's husband threatened to leave her if she didn't get her body back into shape, which may or may not be true. We don't have any real context of that. But. The voiceover is saying, you know, uh, my husband told me that I needed to lose weight after having my first child. Um, she was like, so I didn't want to lose my family. So I got myself up. And so that's why I keep thinking she's like, um, you know, I drunk this drink and it was helping me in the gym. And so I think this is really all told supposed to be some type of uh, promotion for whatever this drink is, which is bad promotion because I don't know what the drink is. Right. But that's not really what I want to talk about. The premise of this clip gave rise to a whole bunch of people expressing, are they drink juices? Mm, okay. Whatever. Um, so here, here we go. Yep, I lose it, then leave him, right? Hope she left him right along with the weight. Lose weight and file for divorce. He's still going to cheat. Do it for yourself. What he looked like. All right. Wouldn't be mad if she left him, to be honest, and I'm a dude. Soon as I lost that weight, I would have lost him too. Let's see. All y'all that said leave him are future cat ladies. Right? Okay. So there were a lot of other comments that I'm not going to read, which isn't very important, Right? What's important here is the sentiment that she can't, that women can't be told anything. This goes along with not only not having accountability, but also not having responsibility for anything that happens in a marriage. Now, the voiceover claim, just going by the voiceover, whether it's true or not, we just going to go with the, with the narrative here. That this woman had a child and gained a bunch of weight, which she did. She was really heavy in that for those first couple of shots. She was really heavy. And I'm glad if this is her and that, and this is a real transformation, like I'm happy because it, it'd be a big thing when you were big uh, and then you lose weight. Because at my biggest, I was probably that size or bigger. True words, true story. At my biggest weight. I was likely, I looked about like she did in, in that first clip. I might even have been a little bigger. And to lose a, a good amount of weight, almost 200 pounds or so worth of weight, you do, you feel really good. It takes a long time. It takes a lot of dedication, but it feels really, really good. Even though I've gained a little bit I've gained some weight a little bit, which I'm <laughs> working to lose back. I still haven't gained that. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't gone back to where to square one. But aside from the actual weight loss, the the real issue here is that men can't the the way these women responded tells us that men cannot make standards for women inside a marriage, outside a marriage, leading up to the marriage, during the marriage. At no time are men allowed 
to make standards for their wives. If your husband said to you, and he said this respectfully, that he wants to be attracted to you and he wants to, uh, he wants you to lose weight and all of that good stuff. If that was a conversation, it may have been a hard conversation. Your feelings may be hurt because you don't want to hear that your husband's not attracted and, you know, but you know, you're big, right? So it's not like you're completely surprised. If your husband tells you, and, and you just have, have to have an uncomfortable conversation, an adult conversation, like an adult, and he tells you this in a respectful manner that he would like for you to lose weight. He would like for you to become more healthy. And he's, you know, to be honest with you, you keep it all the way a hundred. He's kind of not attracted to a really big woman and he would prefer you to lose weight so that he can keep maintain his sexual attraction to you. That may be a difficult conversation for a woman to have for whatever reason, but it's not a conversation that shouldn't be had. If this is the reality of what's going on, why isn't he able to say that? Because I guarantee you women do not have a problem if their man is coming up short in their minds. Women will have a conversation and she won't even try to be tactful. She won't even try to be tactful and have a, a, a decent, respectful, non-emasculating way to say, she doesn't like how you provide or the fact that, you know, you're not contributing financially or the fact that, you know, you don't do this or you don't do that or whatever it is that she thinks you're supposed to be doing as a husband. Whatever it was, the standard that it was before you got married and in the first stages of your marriage, if she feels like you're not upholding those things and those are things that she liked, she don't got no problem coming to you disrespectfully. To say that, she'll say that in an argument. She'll say it to other people. She will put you on front street about it. She will embarrass you with it. All kinds of stuff. Women don't even feel like they need to be respectful when they say things to their husbands or bring things to their husband's attention as to where they want their husbands to change a certain behavior or address something. But not only do you have to walk on eggshells, with these chicks and tell them something. The the fact is you can't tell you can't have these conversations with him with them. You can't tell your woman that babe, when I met you, you were like 150 60 pounds. You're like more than 300 pounds now. I'm not attracted to a BBW. I don't want a woman that first of all is not healthy. You can barely you can't fit your clothes having sex with you is not pleasurable. And he may not say all of those things, but if he says that his sexual attraction is being affected because you're big, you already know that he doesn't like to have sex with you. This might be why the sex slowed down. This might be why, you know what I'm saying? Because he's just not attracted. You're not even comfortable with your clothes off. Let's be, let's keep it a bean. When you're that big, you're not confident. You don't feel sexy. You do, I, I didn't feel sexy. I didn't feel attractive. I didn't feel confident. I didn't feel wanted. I didn't feel like he wanted that because I didn't like it. Ain't no way he liked it because I didn't like it. He couldn't have liked looking at it because I didn't like looking at it. Because when you that big, I don't care what these chicks say, try to gaslight somebody. When you're that big and your stomach hanging all over everywhere, you got a gut and all this other kind of stuff and you got to wear size 18. I was at a size Man, my biggest size had to be more than, I was more than a 26. I had to be maybe in a 28 or bigger. When you're that size and you're not comfortable, you don't look cute in your clothes. You certainly don't look cute out of your clothes. And so this is why you keep clothes on. This is why you keep all them big clothes on because you don't even want to look at it. Your face look different. It's fat. All these rolls, it be hot. You be hot for no reason. You be sweating for no reason. You constantly got to, you know what I'm saying? Spots on your body. You can't really reach all that good because you're too big and all that type of stuff. Like you can't fit places. You can't do certain activities because you're too big. You know that as a woman, the one carrying around the weight. So why is it unconscionable if your husband actually sits down and tells you, hey, this is what you've got to do because a lot of times you're not going to do it if he don't have that conversation with you. If he constantly is validating you, no matter how big you get, you're going to continue to do that. 
if he if he validates if he said if he doesn't change or doesn't not change but doesn't have a conversation with you that was honest about that then you're going to keep eating because you ain't going to feel like, oh, I ain't doing nothing wrong. He's still attracted, so I'm good. And you're not good. So when did it become fashionable for your husband not to be able to keep things 100? If he can't be 100 with you, then what good are you? Because I guarantee you, you want to be able to be 100 with him when he's not doing what you don't want him to do. But this goes into what I was talking about when I was saying how they don't have any responsibilities within the relationship. And it starts with having that baby, having a baby. Now, all of a sudden, no sex. And then you let yourself go with all the food. Now, you don't feel sexy. Now, it's up to him to make you feel sexy at 400 pounds. You don't even like it, but you, he's supposed to like it. And he's supposed to be fawning all over you the same way that he was when he met you. And now your excuse for being super big is, oh, well, I had a baby. Yeah, but the baby's like a year and a half. So when are we going to get in the gym? He probably been waiting on you to get it together. You know, you're not getting it together. So it's up to him to bring the system order and structure. You're not getting it together. So now he got to apply pressure to you to say, hey, whether he getting in the gym with you or not, once he says that, once that conversation is had, it shouldn't have to be had too many more times, maybe for encouragement sake. Get you back, you maybe you fell off the wagon, you get you back. Hey, you know what I'm saying, baby? You was doing good. You know, I noticed you're not really doing your exercises stuff like you was. You was doing so good. You know what I'm saying? You look good now. I noticed you kind of dropped the weight. Come on, you know what I'm saying? You want me to do something with you? You want, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Encouragement along the way, motivation along the way. But at the same time, y'all be, uh, and I would leave him for what? So you get back out in the street. And give a new man what your what your husband just asked you for. Do all that work not to keep your family, but to drop your family. And this is why men avoid marriage. Because what good is it? Y'all don't have no, y'all not loyal to it. It doesn't mean anything to y'all. Marriage means nothing to these hyenas. Absolutely nothing. There's no such thing as keeping a marriage together. Y'all will drop a marriage like a hot potato in two hot seconds and want somebody to be loyal to you with that with that mindset girl if y'all don't knock this off jump down in the comment section let me know what you think like share subscribe to the channel if you have not once again i'm your hostess the crimson cure and this was my perspective bye bye crimsonites